Yo, I want people who don't know Sasha Kim and Odessa, they need a bang a video for now. You see me? So today, I'm showing you some more of the cheapest set of care when I go find anywhere. But before I do that, I just want to remind you to hit the like button, brother, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, brother, and follow me on Instagram here. You see me? But without any further ado, we just gonna jump in and we're just showing you some more of the cheapest set of care when I go find anywhere. Okay, so here we have a 2002 Nissan Sony. This one is selling for 295,000, which is pretty cheap. You see me? Me that offer them like 250 though, but we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so straight up at the back, we can tell so the vehicle looking relatively okay when there's no major damages. Sides of the vehicle here looking good, I'm like the wheels on it. The other side here looking relatively okay again, we don't see no major damages. The little thing over the window here is broken, but besides from that, we don't see no damages at all there. The other side back here here looking pretty good front of the vehicle looking relatively okay the headlight is the smallest bit faded but we would live with that because we are going to pay a good price interior here looking pretty pretty clean like really clean when there's no damage the seat them looking good dashboard looking solid yeah the interior front area here looking really good back area here looking good as well we can't find no damages that we can see you see me front of the vehicle again the only problem we can see is the headlight just a little bit faded you see me but yeah the price on this one is 295,000 you see me what me would have offered them like 250 if made it interested in it if you interested in it though you could have contact this number right there or follow me on instagram here and you will contact them here and set up a meeting for you but we are gonna move on to the next one okay so here we have a 2007 nissan ad wagon this one was selling for 350,000 but sadly it has been sold already we're not gonna waste the time for now we just gonna move on to the next one okay so here we have a 2009 nissan t this one selling for 450,000 you see me so we have to take a closer look at it Okay, so straight off the back, the interior here looking relatively okay. Again, the seat them looking pretty clean. Dashboard looking solid. They did wrap part of the dashboard here. We're looking pretty good, no more set. Just based on this picture right there. Side of the vehicle here looking really good. When I see the damage, it does have another little bumper clip thing there. Not really a fan of it, but it does look relatively okay. When I see the damage is there. The other side here looking pretty clean as well. Yes, man, the car just looking in relatively okay condition. The front of the vehicle here have a little bit of a scuff mark on the bumper right there, but not the major yeah so the vehicle looking relatively good based upon them picture yeah the engine be here looking pretty clean i love how the engine just look dry and clean you see me we can't see any eye leaks on the vehicle we can't see no one because why i run anywhere you see me not when i see out of the usual here upon this vehicle yeah man yes yeah, and it look like the first installer push to start with them you just push the button and start on this one so it does look really good you see me yes yeah, so if you're interested in this one a 2009 Nissan T that sells for 450,000. Maybe you could get it for four bits flat. You see me? You could follow me on Instagram here and we'll set up a meeting for you. But we are gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a 2011 Nissan AD wagon. You see me? This one sells for 495,000, but it is a 2011 vehicle, you know, man. So this is a pretty good year, you know. So we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so straight up at the back, the back here, here looking relatively okay. The interior here looking pretty good with the seats, them are looking pretty clean, and the dashboard is looking really solid. You see me? Side of the vehicle here looking pretty good, but we can see it looks like it has been perfect spray already. Kyle, look at the whole at front fender right there, has been body work. I like the wheels on this vehicle as well, and the back here here looking pretty average when I see the damage is there. You see me? They did not post any more pictures of the vehicle, but again, if you're interested in this vehicle, you could contact this number right there or follow me on Instagram here and we'll set up something for you. But we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a old school Corolla. This is where you call a flatty. You see me? This one was selling for 140000 but apparently it has been sold already. I mean, I don't really want to spend no much time away spending them thing, so we're just gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have another Nissan Tida. This one is 2009, and this one is selling for 465,000. You see me? But we are take a closer look at it and see if it value that. Okay, so straight off the back, the back here, here looking really, really clean, like, like very clean. You see me? The sides of the vehicle here looking really clean as well. We can't see no damages on this vehicle as far as we can tell. Back seat here, here, even the seats looking in really good condition. Also, they're just looking clean. Front of the vehicle, front seat here, here looking clean as well. Seats are in really good condition. Dashboard looking relatively okay. You now it does look like they have a little bit of a broke mark right there, and it, and it is missing the fin them from the AC vent right there. Also, the radio is completely gone. Side of the vehicle here looking really good, like the paint is in really good condition as far as me can tell. And yeah, front of the vehicle here looking in 10 out of 10 condition, like the headlights are really clear and clean. Front of the vehicle looking really good, P 
paint is looking in really good condition yeah so this is selling for 465,000 with the half at 450 it's but this is a good looking vehicle like this is really really good looking vehicle so if you are interested in an instant i mean i really recommend this one right here here's the number right there if you're interested but we are gonna move on to the next one okay so here we have a 2007 nissan bluebird this one is selling for 460,000. you see me we are take a closer look at it Okay, so straight off the back, you have the whole entire bonnet can re -spray. The front bumper, they have a little bit of a scuff mark. And one of the headlights is really faded, and the next one is slightly faded. You see me? Size of the vehicle here will looking relatively okay, but we can't tell much by this picture. The other side here, again, we can't really tell much about the size from this picture. Engine beer here looking relatively okay, no, but it does look a little bit off to me because the top of the engine here just looking really black. So I can't tell if I just dark, the picture is just that dark or, or if. As some island them thing that dry up on the engine and make the engine look so so I can't really tell based on this picture you, know? you see me but the side of the vehicle looking relatively okay the major problem is just that the front area here look like they just want to respray right off spray the front bump on the front bonnet maybe the fenders you see me maybe you could have to get somebody for buff and polish them headlights you have to make them come back you see me but again the price on this one is 460,000 maybe you could have get it for four bills here's the contact number right there for the owner but we are gonna move on to the next one okay so here we have a 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer. I don't remember which one of the viewers them did comment said them want a Mitsubishi Lancer, you know, but this is a good opportunity for one. So here's the contact number for this one if you're interested. But we are take a closer look at it. Okay, so straight after the back we can tell see how the interior here looking really good. My like how the dashboard looking really clean. Them take a picture of the wheel here and it does look like they have some wally palka scuff mark all over the rim right there. Yes man, a wally palka scuff mark over the rim. You could just get a black tin spray and just touch up at the wall wheel and call that a day. You see me? So the vehicle here looking really good. The paint is in really good condition as well. Windows are tinted and it does look like they have an HIDR LED headlights. Interior of the vehicle looking really clean, like, like very good. You see me? And yeah, I love the interior of this vehicle. The interior of this is the screen, but it does look really nice. You see me? The dashboard looking good. I like this little wooden trim all over the place. Yeah, so this looks like a good condition vehicle. But again, if you're seriously interested in it, brother, carry a mechanic, check it out, make sure it's at 100. You see me? The engine bay here looking relatively okay, no man. It's looking pretty good, but it looks like it's somebody they try to wash the engine car. You can see a beer aisle or water all over the engine car. All light is wet. You see me? I'm mean, not too like when people constantly are wash wash the engine car. Sometimes that feel like because sometimes that may feel like they have something to hide you see me but the engine bay here does look relatively stuck in the moment it's nothing out of the usual beer you see me but again we just have to move on to the next one okay so here we have a hyundai van this one is going for 350 000. the person is the ac works v6 engine four wheel drive and all of them thing there. but straight off the bat me can tell say yo we've seen this vehicle before so it look like say somebody has bought this vehicle because we did put this vehicle in one of our previous videos you see me i look like somebody has bought this vehicle i, mean, I don't know if it have problems or what but the person i resell it now you see me so if you do remember this vehicle from a previous video when we did show this vehicle we could, we could have marked the vehicle just by knowing that the side door them door handle was missing and we can tell that it's the same one this right here so it look like whoever buy it i sell it back you see me more than likely say it have a problem or something you see me so i wouldn't really recommend this again i don't know nothing personal about the vehicle you know so with that said and done no, keep that in mind that this vehicle was for sale before and sold and now it's reselling again so whatever the reason is you can decide we just gonna run through them picture yeah so the size of the vehicle here looking relatively okay it does miss in the door angle again if you remember from a previous video uh, that our we that our me personally i use right now for mark this vehicle and yeah size of the vehicle here missing the other door angle again we remember that from a previous video and the color of the vehicle back here here looking relatively okay when the damage is there the seats are in really good condition here it looks like the windshield has a crack on it because we can see a little bit of a crack a mark right there so it look like the windshield has been cracked yeah man the back seat here looking relatively okay and engine bay looking surprisingly stuck but we can't tell much about the engine because it have on this giant plastic thing over it you see me but again we wouldn't really recommend this because we did see this vehicle before you see me and we like to have somebody buy the vehicle and a person that sell it back now you see me so i feel like they have one problem with the vehicle but here's the contact number if you interested now but we are gonna move on to the next one Okay, so here we have a Toyota Tourcell. This one was selling for 220000 you know, but it has already been sold, you, know, you see me? So, as much as more I run through them picture, we're just going to move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a 1998 pickup. This one is selling for 430000 you see me? It's located in West Milan. The person said everything works, no parts needed. We are going to take a closer look at it. 
Okay, straight up for the back, we can go to this is a bright red. This is bright, this is shocking bright. Yes, man, the side of the vehicle looking relatively okay when I see some major damage is there. Back wheel area here looking relatively good. We'll let them spray some blue spray all over underneath the vehicle right there. Yeah, so we can't tell much by these pictures now because I'm only post these three pictures. It's even, but if you are interested now and pick up, you could contact this number right there. Follow me on Instagram here. But we are gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a 2009 Nissan Cube. This one sells for 480 pounds, which is a bit high, you know. You see me? For this vehicle, you know. Because the cubes are not really popular vehicles. But we are gonna take a closer look at it anyways. Okay, so straight up at the back, we can tell the front of the vehicle looking relatively okay. The entire roof in the vehicle won't re because the sun burn out that completely. The headlights are faded, and the back area here, here looking relatively okay. We're not seeing the damage is there. The side of the vehicle looking good as well, and the interior looking really good, like surprisingly clean. The seats are in really good condition, and the roof in the inside is looking pretty good as well. You see me? Dashboard looking pretty solid based on this picture right there, and the seat have one little tear right there, as far as me can tell. You see me? Yeah, so they did not post any more pictures, you know, but again, this is a 2009 Nissan Cube. This one is selling for 480,000, which me think is a bit high for this vehicle. But you decide, here's the contact number right here, but we are going to move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have another pickup. You see me? This one is selling for 420,000, we are take a closer look at it. Okay, so straight up at the back, we can tell to the back here, here looking relatively okay. I don't know if they're missing a bumper right there, because it look like they're missing a bumper, but I don't know if I just saw the vehicle come stuck. Front of the vehicle here looking relatively okay. The headlights are faded, but the paint is looking good. It's interior here looking, interior here looking really, really bad. You the seat tear up, brother. The seat that either have to be reupholstered or I just have to replace completely. The engine bay here looking really dirty. We can see some oil all around the power steering pump right there. You can see some little bit of some wiring all over here. It just look really, really dirty. You see me? It could still be a good vehicle, you know, but again, I'm not too like when vehicle look like this. You see me? I will continue looking at these pictures. Side of the vehicle here looking pretty horrible, like really bad. The wall of the bed of the vehicle right here. The wall of that have be a scuff mark all over it. You look like they're missing a door angle right there. Interior here looking relatively okay. The dashboard looking good, but it is missing the door handles to get out of the vehicle right there. And it's missing one of the button them for the hand right there, as far as we can tell. I don't know which door this, but brother, this door missing an entire door cover. And we can see one bag of wire in there. Right now, I'm not even want to continue and look for no more pictures of this vehicle, brother. We're just going to move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a HRV. This one is selling for 380000 So we have to take a closer look at it. Okay, so straight up at the back, you can tell that the paint is looking in relatively good condition, but it is missing a door handle right there. Back of the vehicle here looking relatively okay. It looks like this is a two door vehicle. Interior of the vehicle here looking pretty okay. The dashboard is looking pretty solid, but it is looking a little bit dirty from the interior here. You see me? Dashboard again looking pretty good, and the side of the vehicle looking relatively okay, except for the fact that it's missing a door handle right there. Seats are looking like it's leather, but and yeah, we can't tell much. Person did not post any more pictures. We can't see the front of the vehicle, we can't see the engine. Bit. But if you are interested in an HRV sell for 380,000, you could contact that number right there. Is me? But we are gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have another Nissan T. This one is 2007, and this one is selling for 420,000. Is me? We are take a closer look at it. Okay, so straight up at the back, we can tell you how the side of the vehicle here looking really good. The headlights are faded. You see me in the back area here looking pretty good as well. It have a little bit of a scuff mark right there from the back bumper right there. You see me? Side of the vehicle, front of the vehicle here looking pretty good as well. It does look like it have a little bit of a little strip, a little scuff mark right there from the, from the front bumper there as well. I like the rims on this vehicle as well. And yeah. Apparently they did not post any more pictures of this vehicle so again see here is the contact number if you are interested But we are gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a year 2000 Land Rover You see me? We have shown this vehicle on this channel before You see me? So I don't know if it's a case where the person has buy the vehicle as somebody else has sell it I don't know why I go on people who show this vehicle before And even though the price is 250000 I even want to show you guys this camera really want to contact nobody about this because at the end of the day But we are gonna move on to the next one Okay, so here we have a 2005 Toyota. You see me? I'm not sure. This I think is the Yaris. We have to take a closer look at it. It's selling for 490000 which is crazy high for a year 2005 vehicle. But we have to take a closer look at it. Bro. Okay, so straight up at the back, you can tell you the paint pan. This is looking really good. Like it's in really good condition paint right there. 
front of the vehicle as well looking really good the paint is just looking really really good so I'm not sure if this vehicle has been resprayed before you know, but it does look really good the paint and this is just anormally good you see me the headlights and this is smallest bit faded but a little buff and polish would have, would have taken care of that you see me the paint on this vehicle is just the, the number one thing about this vehicle. I can't stop talking about the paint because the paint is looking in really good, com really good condition. You see me? They did not post any more pictures. Again, I don't know why everybody had to do this three pictures, but we are going to move on to the next one. Okay, see here we have a 1995 Toyota Highest. You see me? This one has been a Mark II engine, you know? You see me? And this one is selling for 370000 I don't remember which viewer they said they want the highest bus, but here's a good price one. We are take a closer look at it. Okay, straight up at the back, we can see the front of the vehicle here. Have some body work mark right there. It has some overspray or some spray up on the bumper right there. I don't know what that for. I don't know why they remove them thing off of the headlight because it does not to me fit this vehicle right now. You see me? Yeah, and we can't really tell no details from this picture because I take too far back. The size of the vehicle here looking relatively okay. It does have some small scuff mark all over, but nothing major. The back of the vehicle here looking relatively okay when I see the major damage is there. It does have a little bit of a mark right there. I'm not sure what kind of mark that is. It's paint or peel or if it's like a little bit of a rust mark or something. I'm not sure what one right there. But yeah, and again, they did not post any more pictures of the vehicle, so we can't tell how the interior look or how the engine there look. You see me? Again, the price on this one is 370000 You see me? And the price is also negotiable, so you could even get it for three bills. So if it's a case where the engine and transmission is good in this vehicle, then it could be a good buy because at the end of the day, it is a van you know, or a highest. You know, at the end of the day, I can carry whole heap of things, or I can carry whole heap of people. So if you want a work vehicle, or you, you want to carry a lot of things, this could be good enough. You, know, you see me? And I think this is worth checking out. You see me? But we are going to end the video right here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, brother. Subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. You see me?